Hello everyone. Given the example, determine the interval which the function are increasing or decreasing for the function. So as we all know, we have three function in this piecewise function. So given negative x square, 1 x square minus 4. Step number 1, identify the equation. So here we have the equation. Second, find the first derivative. So for f prime x, we will have negative 2x. Next, f prime x is equal to 0. The third one, f prime x is equal to 2x minus 0. So here we have the second step. Next, what we're going to do is to find the interval. So in this case, interval has been given. All we have to know is to identify whether the interval is increasing or decreasing. Step number four, having a table. So the purpose of having a table actually is for illustrate the situation or we call the interval. Locate the value 0, 1, and then 2. So for this case, we have negative infinity until 0. Then we have 0 until 1. Then we have 1 until 2, and then 2 until infinity, where the 0, 1, and 2 is not included. Next, kindly suggest a value of x for the interval. For the first, negative infinity until 0, where 0 is not included, the suggested value will be negative 1. From 0 until 1, where 0 and 1 is not included, the suggested value will be 0 0.5. From 1 to 2, the suggested value will be 1.5. And then finally, we have 3 in between the interval 2 until infinity. Kindly refers to the function x less than 0, the function will be negative x squared. 0 until 1, where 1 is not included, the function is equal to 1. Then we have x greater than 2, where we have x squared minus 4. So ignore this part because there is no function or we can say the function is 0. Next what we have to do is to have the f prime x. So for this case, this part will be negative 2x followed by 0, 0, and then we have 2x as the function. Then what we have to do is to substitute the value so that we can have the gradient for that interval. So kindly refers to the first interval, negative infinity until 0, where 0 is not included. If we substitute the value negative 1 into the equation or the first derivative, and we will have a positive value. For the second interval, we will have a 0. Same goes to the third interval, we will have 0 as well. And then finally, if we substitute 3 into 2x for the first derivative, and we will have a positive value. Finally, interpret the situation. So we have increasing interval, and here we have a stationary or the critical point, stationary or critical point, and then we have increasing interval. As a conclusion, Increasing interval would be negative infinity until 0 when 0 is not included and 2 until infinity when 2 is not included. So here we are and thanks for watching.